Hello everyone, it's me, Marianne Sito with the Wheat Ridge Rec Center here today to do another Matt Pilates class. And this is an all levels class. If you have any injuries, you know, listen to your body. You don't have to participate in things that bother you. Um, I'm gonna show some modifications, so you'll join me on that. All right, so we are going to get started today. Um, and we're gonna work on our ankles and our feet first. Um, which is, you know, our feet and our ankles and such are kind of the foundation of our body. So um, I'm going to go ahead and readjust my machine here so that I can see you guys. You can see me. Um, and we're going to curl our toes under and sit on our heels. Now, if you have any arthritis or so in your toes and this doesn't work for you, or maybe you're just really tight, I'm going to show another version here in just a sec. But if you're just kind of tight and you can curl them under, but it's kind of like, ugh, uh, just kind of rock from side to side first. Okay, so I just want you to start feeling your feet. We don't really realize, you know, how much abuse we do to our feet, or maybe you do, because um, you might have some pain. So if this bothers you, the other thing you can do is either, you know, take your toes and pull and just kind of release and pull. Or when you're not here and you're near a step, you put your toes up against a step um, and just hold that. Now, for those of you that are kneeling, we're gonna do a little add-on to this. So we'll start by sitting on our heels. Take your palms down, come up into a pike position, inverted V, and see if you can get those heels down, then come back down sit back on those heels and then again palms down lift press those heels in to your mat and down those of you that are might be standing again you know I would maybe do a few reps up and down and pull and down and maybe go to the other side So it might be uncomfortable, and if you have knee issues, you might not be sitting all the way down on your heels. Good. And when you're done with this one, we'll do one more. Oh, that feels good. And come on in. Nice. All right, from here, we're going to stay on those palms, and we want to stack wrist and shoulders over one another. Your toes are still curled under, and we're going to lift our knees up just maybe two inches off the mat. So we're kind of in a little bit of a scrunched up plank. So if this is hard, you put your knees down, bring them up when you're ready. Otherwise, we're just hovering. Long neck. Try not to go into cat stretch or sagging low back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Boy, we just jumped right into it, didn't we? All right, from here, we're going to do a little leg extension. So uh, just kind of take a little circle of the wrist, maybe wiggle it out because we're going to go back onto those palms. Now, we're taking our left leg as high as we can. Straighten the knee and the, the elbow out, because you're going to want to lean on that, probably that right elbow. Straighten your ankles out. Good. Now, can you go any higher? You're going to feel the pelvis really turn out. All right. Now, from here, we are going to bend both elbows. Let's do five push-ups, however low you can. If you can touch your nose, squeeze your glute. Good. Breathe. And bring it down. Switch legs out. Extend. See how high, how straight and again, the elbows are long for now. Can you get it higher, higher, higher? Try to keep the leg high. And again, we're going to do five push-ups.
squeeze those bonds. Good. And bring it in. Turn those palms up and see if you can stretch out those wrists. Hardest part of some of the Pilates moves we do is the wrist. Um, a level two mat class, uh, most of it is done on the palm, so it's really hard on the wrist. Wow. Yeah, that's not my favorite. All right, since we're on our knees, we're going to stay there. And I want you to turn and face your computer. And let's take our left foot, and it's in a turnout. And we're going to stretch again, but we're going to stretch our adductors, which are our inner thigh muscles. And from here, just shift as far as you can and back to center. Shift. You know, we have these underlying muscles that we're trying to get to. Um, and this is just really good if you're a runner. Um, you know, you get some issues from running a lot and getting really tight. Or maybe you just do a lot of walking, but usually runners get tighter than a walker. And just shift. Two more. I like this stretch. And we're going to come back to center on this last one. We're going to switch gears here. We're going to stay where we are, but we're going to go into more oblique work. So let's take that right, or excuse me, left leg, stretch it out. And right now your shoulders are over your pelvis. Your arms are in T. Now on your exhale, we're going to take our right fingertips to the side wall. Inhale back to center. Squeeze the ribs tight. Stack. Unstack. Stack, squeeze. One more time and we're going to hold. Now take your right arm and bring it up to your ear and down. Now as that arm goes up, you want to pull the ribs down. And maybe that arm is going to come up just a little bit. Maybe we can't get that all the way up to our head. Good. Nice. Hold that arm up, whatever level you can, and bring your left arm up and down. Now I can relax and just swing that arm up and down. I'm leaning, I'm kind of feeling all kinds of weird things. But if I really focus on putting that girdle around the rib cage, this is hard. This is really hard. Two more. One more. Oh, exhale. Nice. Now take your right palm, place it down. And there's a lot of space between your knee and your palm. Take your left arm straight up, left leg up, circles. Stretch that ankle out, knee is long, control, belly's back, oh. rolls, rolls, rolls. Control, yep. Now reverse it, breathe, lengthen the back of your neck. So if you can see yourself, and I know you might have to bend your neck to see yourself, but you know, imagine yourself looking in a mirror and you can see from head to toes length. Four, three, two, one. Lower that leg. Now let's bring that leg up, maybe as high as your sit bones. Point and flex. Point, flex. Four, three, two, one, and bring it in. All right, we're not going to stretch because we're going to go to the other side, so we kind of are stretching. All right, so we have kind of an angle, and you can probably take that foot further if you need to, and lunge. So if you need more stretch, move that foot a little bit more out. Nice. 
I don't feel very tight right now. I did, um, I did another class earlier, so I'm kind of warmed up, so I feel pretty good. But I do like this one when I do feel tight. It really takes it out of it. Good. Two more. And last one. Now we're going to straighten the knee out. Take your arms in T, shoulder level. Shoulders are out of your ears. And we're going to reach to our left. Start with your inhale. Exhale, reach. Inhale. So again, you know, connect the brain to the belly so that you're feeling that you're scrunching in as you go away from your center. How far over can you go? Hold it over and let's go ahead and take that right arm up and down. Again, as the arm goes overhead, squeeze your ribs to your pelvis. So you're getting, again, that downward, inward movement. Now let's go ahead and hold that arm over and then take your left arm up and down. So if you're getting tired, just bring your chest more upward so you don't have to be as far out. So we can modify this a bit. Two more. Last one. Good, all right, we're gonna put our palm down. Again, give yourself a couple of feet or so between palm and knee. Arm is high, bring your top leg up, circle that right leg. And again, I'm gonna grab that ankle, pull, 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 get longer. Try not to sink into that shoulder. Four, three, two, one, and then we're going to reverse. Can I count any slower? Mm -hmm. Again, space between shoulders and ears, long neck. Very good. Four, three, two, one. Bring that leg down. Now we're gonna bring it right back up. Not a lot of rest here. Point and flex. Good. Yeah, and you might be feeling this more even in your left hip, being weight bearing and go ahead and come on in and relax. We're gonna go right to our tummies. And we're gonna focus mainly on from our low back down to our glutes and hamstrings. And we'll place our forehead on our palms. Stretch your knees out and maybe they're the width of your sit bones. Taking just your right leg and lifting it and lowering it. Lift and lower. Now we could probably go higher if we really rotate, but I don't want you to. I want you to try to keep your two little hip bones as parallel to your mat as you can. So maybe you've got some issues in your hip flexors, your back, that the range is very small. It's okay. Use your butt. One more. Left leg. 
lift and lower and feel the difference. Maybe you, you're equal on both sides. I definitely am not. I know my left side can come up higher than my right. Lift. Again, you're going to feel a little bit of movement in your pelvis. It's impossible not to. But again, you don't want to get up higher just so that you can really come across. That, that's, we're going to, you know, more think about the low back and the butt. Two more. Now, bring your head up because I know it gets hot. So we're going to kind of give ourselves a little breather here because we're going to go to both legs now. All right, so let's lift and lower. Exhale, inhale. Some of you might be strong enough with your back, your flexibility, to get your front thighs off the mat. And if you can, and it's okay on your back and, up and such, you know, go for it. Nice. Lift and lower. Squeeze, release. Two more. And we'll come up for air. All right, we're gonna go back to the right leg and I'm gonna have you count your own reps. We're gonna take the right leg up and we're gonna do six circles in each direction. So we're gonna put that forehead back down, right leg is up, and again, I don't care if these are the size of a marble, a pea, a golf ball, whatever you can get. When you're done with six, you're gonna reverse, and if you only wanna do a couple, you do your own thing. And when you're done with the right, just go right ahead to your left leg, and again, repeat those circles. Relax, and again, come up for air. This time, we're gonna take both legs up you're going to go in opposite directions, and we're going to do five per direction or less. Foreheads are back down. Breath, nose, mouth, breathing. And when you're done, relax. Now, we're going to do cat stretch here in just a sec. We're going to do one more thing. I want you to keep your forehead and your hands together. So they're gonna be glued together. Toes stay on your mat. On your inhale, lift the chest up, exhale down. Now I want you to focus on squeezing between your shoulder blades and trying to lift from here. And notice that we don't wrinkle our neck and throw our head up because if we do that it's hard to keep your hands on your forehead squeeze release two more inhale to lift exhale to lower one more our first child's pose Round out that back and reach forward or take your hands by your heels, but feel your breath. You know, listen to your breath and feel what's going on. Good. Two more. And one more full breath. Big, super, super wide ribs. And come on in. All right, we're up. We're going to go into hip work and we're going to be on our left side first. We're placing our head on our head, our palm on our head, 
our head on our palm, whatever. Yeah, there we go. And stack ankle over ankle, knee over knee, and either take your right hand behind your head or hold on gently in front of your ribs. Flex both of your feet and make sure you're on that big bone. It's called the greater trochanter. We don't want to be on our cheek. Now we're gonna lift that leg only as high as you can without turning your knees or toes up. And I want you to actually take your big toe and point it down just a teeny bit. That'll keep us from cheating. Because notice this, if I turn my toes up, I can go really high, but I'm not really getting into the hip work that I want or the obliques that I want. Now on the next one, hold your leg up. Can you go any higher? Hold it, hold it, hold it. Again, toe points down just a hair and little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Now from here, we're gonna do beats, and it's three forward, three back. You can do three inhales, three exhales, or just inhale, exhale, whatever works for you. Um, if you're gonna do the beats uh, with the three breaths, here we go. It's Last set, and relax. Good. Now, let's go ahead and put our head all the way down. Now, you can take your right arm and stretch it over. Take your left, right leg, excuse me, back, and your left leg forward. So, we're in scissor stretch. If you have trouble balancing here, turn your palm down your left palm and hold on because from here we're going to scissor now I don't go very fast because the idea is not to wiggle and jiggle the upper body so my scissors aren't ginormous when I bring that right leg forward good breathe Ooh. nice two more this is a challenge for me. This might be easy for you, but it's hard for me. Last one. Now we're going to keep that right leg to the back wall and lower and lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and rest. Roll to your back and take your right ankle over your left thigh, grab and stretch. So you can move that ankle closer to your crotch if you need more stretch. And then you can pull those thighs even closer to your chest and maybe rock a little bit to your left side if you need more stretch as well. that out. All right, so we're going to take a little bit of a hip break, and we're going to start in a tabletop position for now. Take your palms a few inches off your mat or so. Take both legs straight up. Now curl your chin towards your chest. We are not going to do a double pulse scissor. We're just going to switch it here. Inhale, switch, exhale, switch, inhale, exhale, inhale, stretch, stretch. <sighs> Lengthen those knees and ankles. If your head is starting to get heavy on that neck, bring either that chin closer to your chest or place your head back to your mat. 
four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, from here, arms are down by your side, tabletop your legs, and we're going to, again, curl that chin to our chest. This time, let's shoot the right leg up, left leg forward, and then tuck, extend, tuck. Now, we can take that bottom leg very low if it doesn't bother your back or you bring it up much higher. Good. Curl the tailbone up off the mat, just a hair. Try to get into those uh, deeper transverse abdominals. And let's all put our head down and continue. So now the neck is not involved. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Take those arms in T, legs are up. Now if straight up over your hips, long legs is too challenging, bend. And even bring your knees closer to your chest to even make it easier. Both of our shoulder blades are on the mat. We're going to look up at the ceiling, unless you, you know, watch what we're doing first and then change your eyes. On the inhale, drop your legs to your right. Left shoulder blade stays down. Squeeze your tummy to bring your legs to center. Switch sides. Inhale. Squeeze. Exhale. Nice. And you'll notice that you're going to want to whip those legs back to center because that would be much easier. But we want to kind of get more into those tummy muscles. Um, it's, it's not going to be that whippy motion at all if you're engaging your obliques. One more right, one more left. Again, you can bend as much as you need to as little as you can, and back to center when you're done. We're gonna grab behind those hamstrings, and we have the other hip work to do, so I didn't forget. We're gonna to go to our right side. We're gonna lengthen from our head to our heels, and again, either we have a gentle hold in front or both hands behind. Our feet are flexed. And again, we're going to lift and lower and only come up as high as you can without turning your left toes up. So again, we're going to maybe point that big toe down just a hair so that we get into those full abductor muscles going into the oblique work. Very good. Lift and lower. Very good. Nice. Three more. Bellies are back. So kind of feel that, you know, the tummy is working as well. We don't want to leave that out. And we're going to hold that leg up. Turn that toe down in little pulses. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three two, one, bring it down. All right, <clears throat> we've got our beats, three forward, three back, and one, two, three, one, two, three. Last set, and relax. Let's place our head on our arm, and then take your other arm, your left arm overhead, and then take your left leg to the back wall, right leg to the front, and scissor. 
Now, it would be easy to bend those knees and kind of feel like you're scissoring, but I don't think your scissors, your real scissors, bent. So think of real scissors, how tough and strong they are. And again, this is not one of my easier exercises. So I am pointing out my flaws. And I've got them. Back and forth. One more. And we're going to take the right leg back and lower and lift. Good. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, hang in there, two more, one more, Woo. roll to your back. Ah, nice work everyone. Let's go ahead and take that right ankle, cross it over, and you know, sometimes the stretch is just as painful as the exercises themselves, so. And again, side to side, forward back. Maybe you wanna hold it over to that left side a little bit or right side. Find your stretch. Good. Wiggle and jiggle. All right, so let's go ahead and uncross. We'd like to stay there all day. And we are going to use our hands. Let's take them at the base of our skull and curl up. So now we have no issues with our neck whatsoever. Our legs are at a 90 degree angle. And I want you to make sure that you have your butt on the mat to start with. On your exhale, only lower your legs down to your level of a challenge. So if you're just barely dropping those legs a couple of inches and bringing them back up. That is a great way to start on that strength. As you exhale down, and those of you that are going lower, you're gonna probably wanna curl the tailbone up off your mat just a hair. So that, again, you get into those transverse abdominals. It protects our back. So we don't get that big arch in our low back. Feel the fluidity of your movement. One of the principles of Pilates is how fluid you move. We don't come up faster than we lower. One more time. Exhale down. Inhale up. And relax. Now, we're going to do a little bit of work that will get a little bit more into the oblique. So we're still going to be working transverse and all of the you know, rectus abdominals, all that stuff. But now we're going to use the obliques. And again, you can take your legs at whatever level works for you. So if you want to do this at a 90 degree, good for you. Anywhere blah, 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 down to your level. So find where you want to work. Take your right leg and push it out. Five times, so again, you get to count. Maybe you don't want to do all five. Try not to move the other leg. Once you've done five, switch. Breathe. Nice. And when you're done with five, bend those knees. Grab behind the hamstrings and roll it on up. Ha! Whoa! All right, gang, let's do seal. This is three claps in front of you and then three claps over you if you can. All right, we're gonna take our hands, I'm gonna turn and so you can see that you're gonna wrap those hands under and then you're gonna grab in front of your ankles. And then you try to do a pretty wide clap so that you stretch your hips out. And it's one, two, three, Roll back, I gotta make sure I have room here. And you clap above you three times. For those of you that cannot get stuck, clap three times, roll, come back, 
and then again, clap. You know, when you want to get stuck somewhere, you can't. And then when you're not supposed to get stuck, you get stuck. Doesn't make sense. Exhale. So there's some core here because you have to stop that momentum and come forward and relax. All right, gang, we're going to stand up. We're going to do a little bit of leg work. And um, I've taught some bar Pilates. And uh, so this is kind of comes from that part of it. So we're going to stand up. And we're going to start in a Pilates V position. So our heels are going to touch one another. And our toes are turned out, however wide you like. I like to see a nice pretty V here. Hands are on our hips. Our shoulders are back. Now, we're just going to come up onto the balls of our feet and then back down. That's all we're going to do is lift and lower. For some of you that have some balance issues, the heels might not come up very high. So, you know, just kind of feel what you can do. And then how long can you stay up? So it's an exhale, inhale. But again, if that's too challenging, maybe you're going to just speed it up a little bit more. And this goes back to working those ankles and feet again. So this is going with what I started with. So there's actually, you know, kind of a connection today. I've actually planned it. So what? Marianne planned something? That's crazy. One more time. And bring it down. Now, we're going to try to keep our heels flat. Now, this goes back to that ankle work again. So when you bend into a squat, you can feel that scrunch in your ankles as you come up. Now, I kind of lean forward to point, but you don't want that chest down here. So just go down when you feel like, eh, I'm getting kind of funky. Just bring it right back up. Three more, two more, last one. Keep your Pilates V, come up however high you can stabilize and stay. Bend those knees and pulse. And we got a little bit of glute, hamstring, quad, calf, wow, bellies are back. Tummy's working. Breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it on up and down. Now take your feet and turn them straight ahead. Maybe they're the width of your hip. So we are now more of a neutral position. And again, we're just going to lift up on the balls of our feet and back down. And just feel your balance again. Maybe this is harder than the last set. Maybe it's easier. Everyone's different. Good. I'm on my carpet, and sometimes um, it makes it easier. Sometimes it makes it harder. I'd rather be on a wood floor to do this. It's more stable for me, but... I'm not using my mat. Lift and lower. Two more. One more. Nice. Now, we're not going to do those squats with our heels down. We're going to lift our heels up, bend your knees again, and pulse. So we're going to just kind of go, we're going to skip one of the sets here on this one. And it's 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to stay down. Good. Heels are up. Hold for ten, nine, eight, seven. You got it. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Now let's take our feet wider. If you're using your mat. You probably want to take your feet to the outsides of the mat, so your heels or toes, nothing is touching your mat. So now we got a 
pretty wide stance. And again, feel that turnout so we get a little bit more of our adductor muscles. All right, so again, we're just gonna lift and lower. And now we've got this wider range, so the heel lift feels smaller. Lift and lower. Exhale, inhale. So addressing our feet and our ankles today, where? Wow, wow, wow. Different from just focusing mostly on core. Now on the next one, hold your heels high, bend your knees. Again, we're gonna go into those pulses. Squeeze your butt and you know, notice that your tailbone is pointing straight down. Again, we don't wanna be here. Let's put a water bottle on our head. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold it down on one. Now, if you need to put your heels down, do so. Otherwise, get those heels up high for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it up and bring it down. Now, I'm going to go back to my map. Uh, we're all going to face either direction. doesn't matter to me. And let's go ahead and stand near the edge of your mat. All right, so we're gonna be doing some push-ups here. We're gonna be doing some light pulls. If you wanna leave either of those out, that would be great. We're not gonna start with our arms overhead on this one. We're just gonna roll down vertebrae by vertebrae, bringing that chin to your chest first. And you'll roll down, trying to keep your legs pretty long, so not a lot of bend, unless you're not flexible. Because once your hands get to your mat, you're going to walk forward into a full plank. Get your tailbone down. Lift one leg up, then the other. So we're doing a full uh, leg pull. One push up. And then walk it back. Once you get to your feet, take a breath. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your belly. Come up vertebrae by vertebrae. Now we're gonna do it again, but this time we're gonna do it in Pilates V. Take a breath again, roll down, get your hands to your mat. Again, those of you that have to bend your knees, walk forward to a full plank. Now, if you wanna do your push up with your knees down, that works for me. We're not gonna do the leg pulls. We're gonna do three push ups. Walk it back. Take a breath in. Belly to back. Head up is last. And we're going to go to our mat. Oh, let's go ahead and take a seat. Oh, wasn't it good? Uh, well, we're actually not going to take a seat. We're going to do some side planking. And um, let's start on our left side. And I always show three versions of this. Now, if you have some shoulder issues and this doesn't work, whether it's right, left, or both, um, you're always better off to do a forward plank, no matter what, because then you've got both shoulders to deal with and you don't have to worry about hurting anything. We're going to take that left forearm under our shoulder, left elbow, Bend your left knee. Now, this is the most uh, modified version. Left knee bent, right leg is long. Second version is both legs are long with your right in front of your left. Those of you that want to pop up onto your palm, make sure it's not too far away from your shoulder to start. We're all going to come up high. I'm going to do all three versions. So you don't need to move. Just stay with one, which one you've got. And we're going to bring it up into a plank. Then we're going to take our right arm, right leg, bring our knee and elbow together. So I'm gonna to go to all three versions. So this is the second level. And then the third level, you got that knee down. Try to keep that space between shoulders and ears. Not easy, not easy. Two more, one more, and rest. Only two sides, that's all we got. 
All right, so this time you'll have your right elbow under your shoulder, right knee bent, left leg long, both legs long, or on your palm. Now, if you want to start with your feet stacked, sometimes it's a little bit easier to get this going. But let's come up into our side plank to boot. I like to kind of start with the cross leg a little bit for me, and then bring that knee and elbow together. Good. Pull. Pull. Again. Up. Pull. Pull. All the way down. Pull. Three more. Two more. One more. And relax. Those are not easy, you guys. So if you did them um, one way or the other, good for you. All right, let's go into spine extension just a little bit. And then we're gonna do a little bit of neck work. And our hands are by our shoulders. Lift up and just come up as high as you can. The one thing that you don't wanna do when you come up is some of us like to come up high, but our back is flat and our two little hip bones come off the mat. So you wanna to try to anchor them down and then push up and get that arch in your back. Now on the next one, hold your spine up in that C curve and drop your chin to your chest. Roll, look to your left and right. Down. Any noise? My neck is making a lot of noise. And we're gonna come back to center and lower the chest down. Let's go back into our child's pose, rounding out that back and breathing into those back ribs. So really feel your breath working. Big breaths into those ribs. Two more full breaths. One more. And onto your back for bridging. We want our feet about the width of our butt bones. Remember our butt bones are right in the middle of our butt and a little bit more than a hand's length away. We are not going to do a full bridge. You'll start with your neutral spine, your neutral pelvis. On the exhale, I'm just gonna use my hands if you've not done this before and show you how you tilt the pelvis. And then on the inhale, you're back to that neutral position. Exhale, curl and feel the contraction glutes and belly and then release. All 10 toes are down. Now, I am barely getting like just the tip of my tailbone. So if you can picture the coccyx part, which is the pointy piece of your tailbone, then there's a chunk, it's called the sacrum that's above that. Um, we're just barely getting the tip off for now. Because after this one, we're gonna try to take all of that butt off the mat. So now none of the tailbone is on the mat. I can slide my hands under and then on the inhale, I get to relax. And we should feel a big difference between the neutral, no muscles involved, and then that pelvic tilt. And you guys know this is like one of the best back strengtheners pretty much that we can get. I love these. And this is really nice. If you cannot do a full bridge, you've got some issues, this is a great way to go and not even attempt a full bridge if that bothers you. Now, on this next one, this is called a hammock. And I'm actually gonna sit up and show you this with my hands. So if you can kind of see my hands as those two little hip bones, and if you were lying in a hammock, you would rock from side to side. So one side of the hammock comes up, then you sweep down, and the other side comes up. We're gonna do that in that posterior tilt. So once you get that butt off the mat, and I'm just gonna pop up here, you'll swing from one side to the other. Now you're gonna feel a little shift when you swing to the left, a little bit more weight will go into that left 
foot, the whole foot. I don't want you to feel it just in your pinky toes or whatever. I want you to feel your big toes touching down hard as well. Those knees are stable. If you were lying in a hammock and you had two big trees holding the hammock up, you would hope those trees were stable. So your knees are your trees and then your, your back is the other tree. All right, so we got the hammock on. We're gonna go ahead and just set our butt down. Now the next one I feel is harder. There's a lot more obliques involved. So again, I'm gonna use my hands to demonstrate. Instead of that swinging hammock, you're going to imagine a water bottle on each palm of your two little hip bones. And you're gonna slide from side to side. I think, um, again, it's harder and my movement's not as big as the hammock. So now, again, you're gonna lift up, and you can, and on this one, I'm gonna give it to you where you can either be in that pelvic tilt or neutral. I don't care which one, because they're both great. And again, we're hovering, and you wanna feel like this big hip bone, that greater canter goes right and left. So if you're watching me, I'm gonna move my arm. I don't move very big, at all because otherwise I'll get my knees and everything else involved. But I just want to kind of feel that little bit of a shift to the right and left sides. And we're hovering, our butt hasn't touched the mat yet. Two more. Good. And then set your butt down. And we're going to do a full bridge. All right, so be ready. Now, again, if you want to just do that pelvic tilt and that's all that works for you, great. Start with a big inhale because now we need a long exhale to scoop that belly, curl up bone by bone by bone. And we want to lift up high enough that those two little hip flexor areas here are way up. Rock the pelvis right at the top to descent. And then relax when you're back to neutral. Exhale down. One more time. And exhale. Grab behind your hamstrings and we're going to come on up. And we're going to do um, a little thing for, we're going to do some mermaid, but we're also going to work on hip mobility and stability. And I'm going to have you take your left knee, bend it in front of you, and bring your right leg back. Now take your right hand in front of your knee, right hand back, and you're probably going to bend a little bit. Now you'll notice that there's a lean. So I, I'm definitely leaning, you're leaning, but none of us are down here. Now, take your right leg up just a little bit and try to kick yourself in the butt. Back and forth. Now, we could bring that leg up higher if we do this, but again, that's not the idea. This is, this is more of a stretch. Again, stability, mobility. How far can you take that? And then get into even that hip flexor area and we'll do a couple more. And relax. All right, take that left forearm and place it down. Take your right arm and try to touch your ear. And as your fingertips are reaching for the side wall, push your butt down. Push that right cheek into your mat. So imagine me grabbing the wrist, oh, lengthen, and pushing your butt down at the same time. And you'll notice that your ears and shoulders are together, and that's good, because you want that length. You're gonna get way more stretch than if you have this soft little arm. Good. And then come on up, very good. Let's switch legs out, and we'll have that right knee bent in front, left behind us. Our left hand is in front 
left hand is behind. And we're gonna lift that knee up and reach back and forth. And you'll notice that you will have some bend in the elbows. So um, mainly gonna be a lot of bend in your right elbow. And that's okay, but again, try to stay off of your thigh there. Let's squeeze. Two more. And bring it down. Place that forearm down. Take your left arm, touch the side wall, shoulder into your earlobe, and then push that butt down. But make sure we breathe. It's easy to hold your breath on these. Can you get longer? Doesn't that feel good? Yes. And then come in. All right, I want you to just sit. You can lie down, I really don't care, because we're just gonna finish with breath, and we're not gonna do the arm work or any of that kind of stuff. I want you to close your eyes if you want, and just hear and feel your breath. You know, be aware of, you know, the, the, again, the lungs growing and shrinking. Nose, mouth, breath. Finish this breath and do one more. And we're done today. Oh my gosh, doesn't that go by so fast? Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Uh, stay safe, healthy, and just keep doing Pilates. Have a great one. See you next time. I'll add some more classes. Have a good one. Take care.